Hi family and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well, I already filmed this video once during the weekend and when I was trying to put it together yesterday, some of the clips or some of the parts of the video didn't record at all, my camera stopped working. That is why I'm going to look often in my viewfinder just to see if it's if the camera is on or not because I'm not doing this again really <laughs> and why it's because I get mad when these things happen when I was so happy about my makeup look and um, the video was perfect and I thought it I did an amazing job and then half of it was gone so I'm doing that again but I won't complain right now I'll try to be positive I already know how this is going to work but I'll uh, put my best poker face on and uh, do my freeze First review again. <laughs> okay, we are here or you are here today to see me try the new Revolution Prime and Lock Long, La Long Way Eyeshadow Primer and also Revolution New Cut Crease Canvas Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base. Today I'm going to put this to the test. I'm going to have the, this primer on this eye and the canvas on this eye. I'm going to prime my eyes with these, I'm going to cut my crease with these and I'm going to do makeup like I do every day and we'll see which one will win. Now I will put the information and the price down here so you can see, I can't remember it right now but I will put it um, on the screen so you can see it. This is supposed, this is Prime and Lock Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer. This is only available in one shade, but this canvas, cut crease canvas, I think it's available in more shades. I don't know if it's four or more, but I saw a review of this product and uh, the girl that bought it, I can't remember the channel's name, but she tried the light one and she had kind of like my skin tone and it was too light so she went to and tried the medium and that worked much better so I went and bought the medium one medium because it's light you're going to see it, this is very light and the light is more light almost white I don't know but I don't like my base to be very very white or very light I would like it to be lighter than my skin tone but not too much um, I talk too much in this video right now, but let's try this. I'm going to prime my eyes and both of them, both of them are long wear. This is full coverage. This doesn't say it's going to be full co coverage, but it's supposed to make your eyeshadow stay on the whole day and not crease. This is also supposed to do the same thing, but this is also more suitable for cut crease. So we'll see. I have nothing on my eyes. I do have my face cream on, my serum and everything, and of course my eyebrows. But I don't have any cream on my eyelids. I don't have anything on my eyelids. They're very clean. So let's go in with Prime and Lock. And it has this Dolpha applicator. So... I want to show you how this is looking. So I'm um, usually, or every day, I'm blending my eyeshadow primer with my fingers. That is what I'm doing all, all the time. But I don't know if you can see, let me zoom you in just a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, this is wet and uh, it's starting to dry, but it's looking patchy. I don't know if you can see, it's looking uneven. So if I go with a brush, my, this is Pilou's brush, it's doing the same thing. And if I try to do this, it's just moving it around. I don't know. So this happened last time I, the first time I tried this product. And it doesn't cover all of my veins. It has very, very light coverage or no coverage at all. Coverage at all. But I don't like how this is sitting on my eyelid. And I'm going to set it. And why? It's because when I tried this video, I did set it, but I waited a couple of minutes and it started creasing a lot. So I'm going to set it like I always do. I always set my eyeshadow primers. 
If you want me to try this product without powder, not setting them, please let me know. I will definitely, definitely, definitely do that. But right now I'm going to set it. I'm not happy how it looks. I think it looks a little bit uneven and patchy. And I don't know, but I'm going to put eyeshadow on. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't cover a lot. It doesn't really matter if it's, it's looking patchy, if my eyeshadow goes on very nice and smooth, but we'll see. This canvas has a brush and uh, this is supposed to be very easy to apply and also you can use this to cut your crease. Uh, but this brush is too big, I won't cut my crease with that just because it's too big. It's, there is a lot of product comes out and it just doesn't really, I don't know, no. I can't do that with that brush. So this is canvas it has more coverage as you can see and it's very light and this is in medium so I'm tapping this with my fingers too the same way I did with that primer primer lock and this is kind of creating more even base and also hiding more of my veins and discolorations on my eyelids My camera is getting old. I bought it for six years ago, if not even more, and it's messing with me and it's getting me, starting to make me mad and sad. And I don't know what I will do if it stops working. I don't, I can't afford a new one, but I won't give up <laughs> on my channel. Never. Okay. So as you can see, it made this very easy and, and uh, light, much better application it looks more smooth than the primer so i'm setting just with some left off powder on my brush it's huda beauty powder so this is how they look on my eye this is the lock and prime and lock on this eye and this is cut crease canvas on this eye so let's go with eyeshadow I'm going today to use my favorite eyeshadow palette that I've been using now the last month or two, Urban Bible from Sosu and Kayla collaboration. If you haven't tried this palette, try it. It's wonderful. It's really not my day. I just finished a makeup look and then I realized that I didn't cut the crease. So I had to remove it again and apply the base again. So this is how it looks the third time. Lock, prime and lock on this eye and canvas on this eye. It turned out like it did before. This is more a little bit patchy here, doesn't really want to blend even, and this is creating me a very nice even base and giving me more coverage. So I'm going to again to try and create a makeup look. And right now I'm out of time, so this is going to be a fast makeup look because I do need to get ready and go away. I need to take my son to the doc to the doctor. He's been sick for the last couple of days and yeah, I need to go. Uh, I'm taking this shade from this palette. So this makeup look I create a couple of times and I love it. So that is why I'm creating now because I know how it goes and I know it works and I know it's fast. This shade is so good. When you blend it in, it turns pink, but you can build it up to be very nice and dark. Burgundy shade. So it, the shade is blending nice on top, but here it's uneven where the primer is uneven. Let's go in with this on this side. On this side, it's already blending much better than on this side. But I've been having problem for a couple of last a couple of weeks, maybe now, with my eyeshadow stick, sticking here, and it doesn't have to do doesn't have anything to do with the primer, because it's happening with all of my primers and all of my shadows see if we can fix it today look how beautiful that looks 
I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go into that, this white reel just to blend the crease a little bit. It's looking good. Okay, let's cut the crease. So I'm going to go in with the base or prime and lock eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to cut the crease. As you can see, this is what happened last time too. It doesn't want to blend nice or go on very nice. It's looking uneven and it's not looking the way I want my crease to look. This is the best I can do. Let's clean this brush and go in with the cut crease canvas. Cut crease canvas. And I'm not going to take this brush, it's too big. And let's cut the crease on the other eye. I don't know if you can see, but this is already going on much better than this side. Let's go with the eyeshadow now. I'm going on with Esco 05 and I'm going to take this Mary pink shade. And without any fix plus or wet, wet brush, I'm going to take this on. And this is the Prime and Lock eyeshadow primer as our base and uh, or as the cre uh, cut crease. And I didn't wet the brush. Okay, so this is how it went on. Now I'm going to go back with a brush and go back in that burgundy shade that we had and blend these two together. So it looks nice, blended the seamless. Take on this side. Take that same eyeshadow and just build it up. Can you see this is only two eyeshadows? Only two eyeshadows. And I'm going to take a clean blending brush and clean the edges a little bit. I'm going to take Esco 03, a very small, small blending brush and blend the edges. Need to build up here more. Okay, so I'm going to finish my makeup look and I'll be back to see how it's looking. Right now it's 10 o'clock and yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm done with my makeup. I'm in a hurry. So on this side we have the prime and lock and on this side we have a canvas. I have Mascara Revolution. I only put that same shade that I had this burgundy under my eyes. So I'm going to go away right now and it's 1017 and I'll see how this is going to hold during the day. So see you soon. I'm back. I'm back. You know it. Okay. It's 715 or 1915 and I've been having this on since 10 o'clock. So uh, nine hours, nine hours. And this is how it looks. So I zoomed you in so you can see better. On, on this side we have the canvas and on this side we have the prime and lock primer. Both of them creased a lot actually, but this one starts creasing after only three hours. 
and this start creasing after six hours. The last hour it just went down very fast, but it kept my kept my eyeshadow on nice. Uh, yeah, but this is how it looks. I was outside a lot today. Everything else, my crease looks nice here. The makeup stayed on. I think I'm going to try it without um, doing my crease and see if it's going to stay better. And this one also the same, the crease looks good, everything up here, I have primer here, but I have very oily eyelids and as you can see everything is kind of gone. The places where my eyelid, upper eyelid and this part down here didn't touch, the makeup stayed there, but everything else just moved. Uh, but my foundation looks good. And on the lips, I do have this uh, Amaze Cheeks and Lips Isabella Morant collaboration. I like that. It looks very cute on my face. Uh, I don't know. I'm, if I should choose one, I think the canvas is better because last time I had it, it actually made my eyelash, eyelash, no, my makeup stay on longer than this one. This one creased very fast after three, four hours, it started creasing. Then it went down the hill very fast. This one actually kept me last time eight hours and then it started creasing. Today it was, I was a little bit extra oily, so it kind of kept only for seven hours. No, nine hours. Now eight hours, eight hours. Um, and I don't know, I, I prefer this one. I prefer this one. I prefer it because the the first layer when you put it on the eyes it kind of makes everything smooth and nice and it covers uh, the most of my veins and discoloration so the base is very good eyeshadow goes on without any pro problem cut crease looks beautiful i'm going to try this as only as a cut, cut crease product uh, I'm going to use my Urban Decay or my other eyeshadow products that I really like uh, under it and then use this just to cut the crease. This one I will try just as a primer, but I'm kind of, uh, I don't think it's going to work because it starts creasing here and I didn't cut my crease on this spot. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I was never impressed with any of the Revolution primers for the eyes. Face primers, I love. Eyeshadow primers, uh, not that much. I also bought, I don't know where it is, the other one in the round packaging disappointed me that one too. But check it out, they're not expensive. Maybe it will work for you. For me, it didn't really work as I, would, as I would like it to, but I'm not mad. I'm thinking of continuing using this one. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Love you all. Bye.